Hi everyone, it's Phil from Ashland Leather. We've got some incredible custom ordered wallets to show you today. I wanted to start off by showing you the brand new leather here. This is a shrunken bison leather. So you get these really incredible peaks and valleys of texture from that naturally shrunken bison. And in addition to that, a finish method called hand tipping. So the peaks of the texture are a little bit darker and the valleys are a little bit lighter. This fat Herbie has been custom ordered by one of our really creative customers. We have two different colors of this brand new Yellowstone. This is the the blue color sitting on top of bourbon and on the inside we have more of the bourbon and i have another yellowstone wallet to show you this time it is a tall tony the ants if you were looking to get a wallet made out of this brand new leather we're now accepting custom orders in both the bourbon as well as the blue color so let's look at the tall tony the ant here you can see the bill slot has been extended all the way to the top on the inside we have more bourbon yellowstone this one has a special variation on the bill slot. This is what we call the skip stitch and it is stitched a little bit lower. And the reason that we stitch that a little bit lower is it allows a little bit more easy access to the bill compartment. Up next is a really fun one. I'm a big baseball fan, go Cubs. This is baseball glove leather, the same leather that you can find in many catcher's mitt gloves in the uh, MLB today. Really nice light tan shade here. It's very soft in temper, much softer than most of the leathers that we use. Up next is a really funky one. This is an Epic Splatter Reverse Color 8 Chell Cordovan Johnny the Fox. Check out that really cool linear streaking of the splatter on this wallet. I love that look. And here's a look at the inside with some more great Epic Splatter. I should mention this is my first time looking at all these wallets, so it's a, it's a full surprise for me as well. Looks like we've got some Derby deerskin here in the brown color. This was a sample leather that Horween was trialing to see if they wanted to make more of, and it does not seem that they are going to do more of that leather. On the inside, we have some brown cypress. Here's another Johnny the Fox. Looks to be inverted ultraviolet shell cordovan. Let me give you this one a spin because the inverted shells are really dynamic in terms of the color range. So you'll notice at some angles, more of these vivid shades pop out and other angles, it's a little bit more muted, a little bit lighter and less vibrant. Here's a look at the interior of this one. It looks like we've got some green shell cordovan on top of marbled black shell cordovan. And here is a Tony the Ant in English Tan Dublin. English Tan Dublin is our most popular leather and color right now. Very nice orangey tan shade. You get a little bit of this burst effect because of the wax that has been finished onto the grain layer of this skin. On the inside, this is what's a little bit different. We've got some vertical card slots where normally we have two card slots on the left and two on the right. The vertical card slots have three on the left and three on the right. There is a hidden card slot underneath this two stack. And let's keep it going. We got a lot of stuff <laughs> that is being sent out today. Again, if you wanted to get a custom ordered wallet or maybe something like this comb sheath here, just send an email to my brother, Matt, at info at ashlandleather.com. Let him know what you're looking for and he can give you a quote. Up next is a shell cordovan comb sheath, an inverted ultraviolet shell cordovan. The comb fits into the, the top, just like this here. I forget the name of the model. This might be like the model four or something that fits inside of this comb sheath, but a beautiful piece of inverted ultraviolet shell cordovan there. This is sort of similar to the comb sheets that I'm more familiar with, but this is for their smaller beard comb. I believe this is the model two comb. We also have a model one comb that's a very similar aesthetic to this, but just a little bit longer. And speaking of green, we've got a couple key fobs. These are not green shell. This is actually the reverse side of black shell cordovan, which tends to be this lighter, more pale green shade sometimes. And other times it can be a little bit of a darker, more forest green shade. Here's another Yellowstone piece, the shrunken bison in the blue color. And this is our Frank the Enforcer, one of our only wallet designs that does not fold. So we've got incredible blue yellowstone on the front as well as blue yellowstone on the back and a natural waxed and burnished edge here we have another yellowstone piece this time it's a fat herbie in the bourbon yellowstone color you'll notice that the texture is very random on the shrunken bison because that is very much a natural texture. You'll see it's a little bit finer on the inside here and a little bit more of a coarse texture on the outside. Now this looks like a fat Herbie, but this is our traveler passport holder. It looks like we've got some denim blue shell cordovan on top of amaretto shell cordovan in the center. It's a little difficult for me to tell in these lights. And on the inside, we've got the reverse of that with the baby Ashland stamp. And we've got the we normally call these hidden card slots, but these are designed to fit a passport inside. So you can fit your passport underneath and then credit cards or any sort of travel documents up above. Here's another tall Tony the Ant. This time it's in my favorite leather for patina. This is the raw natural shell cordovan. 
very light in color, has very much a matte finish to it. So it's not as bright and shiny as a normal piece of shell cordovan. However, as you wear the natural shell or the raw natural shell in this case, the color does darken and deepen. And in the case of the raw natural here, you will also notice that the luster increases. So it becomes much brighter, more shiny just with normal use. Up next is a Gus card case. This looks like black Dublin, my favorite black leather around. Not a lot of black leathers in the world have any amount of grain characters. So let me show you this one because this has a very nice fine grain that you don't often see on black leathers. Oftentimes, most black leathers are just very heavily finished. They're almost uh, sanded down as well. So it looks a little bit more like plastic than leather. And that's why I love the Black Dublin. I think it's the most interesting black leather around. And here's a fun one. Epic Natural Shell Cordovan on a Vic Snap Wallet. Now this has a magnetic snap closure on it, which uh, can also be spec'd out and custom ordered this way. Here we have a Traveler Passport Holder, a little bit taller than our normal Fat Herbie. And again, we did that to more easily accommodate a passport on the inside. The leather here is Whiskey Shell Cordovan, and this one has been personalized for LUC. So thank you so much, LUC, really appreciate it. Let's have a look at the inside and notice we have the one hidden card slot on the right. Up next is a Johnny the Fox. Johnny the Fox is our most popular wallet style by a good margin. Often I get that question asked is, what's the best selling style? Well, and this is it here. It's a very traditional bifold. We have the bill slot in the back and the card holders on the inside. There's hidden card slots on each side. Now this Giant of the Fox is all reverse black shell cordovan. And it's much, much lighter than most of the reverse black shell cordovan that I see. Most times it's more of like this color, this darker sort of dye drip mark that you can see here. But you can also see it in this lighter, more pale green color which is very nice as well. So you can spec it out either way with my brother, Matt. Just send him an email again, info at ashlandleather.com. And here's another wallet. We've got the Bugs Moran in Blue Shell Cordovan. I believe this is Intense Blue Shell Cordovan, which is a little bit darker than the denim blue. We also have a contrasting cream color stitch along the outside and then alternating card slots on the inside with reverse natural on top of blue. Now here's another totally beautiful wallet, Johnny the Fox in raw natural shell cordovan. This one is hand stitched it appears and we also have some personalization for KR and thank you so much KR. This is a beautiful Johnny the Fox coming your way. Also more raw natural shell cordovan on the inside. Here's another raw natural piece. This one seems to be a little bit thinner on the Bugs Moran here. So raw natural on the outside with raw natural on the inside. This might be why I'm feeling it to be a little thinner. There's only two card slots on this one. And here's another very special piece, another Bugs Moran, but this leather is from the 1940s. So we've been calling this 1940s calfskin. It's a leather that Horween tanned back in the 40s that they were never able to reproduce and they've been sitting on it uh, to use as a reference for all these years and have finally given up on it and they're starting to sell it away so this was known as timber tanned calfskin with beautiful grain figuring on the outside we also have this hidden card slot on this one here's a look at the inside with more of the 1940s blonde calf this fat herbie looks great i really like the combination here with the black on top of gray i believe again this is black dublin on top of a leather called Gray Crypto, and that's crypto spelled with a K. Honestly, I don't love the leather. I find the name of the leather, I find it to be really confusing. But the result of it, especially in this gray color, is very, very striking. I love the combination of black and gray together. And then we've got the contrasting gray color stitching along the outside. Here's a look at the inside with more black Dublin for the card holders, and you get to see the reverse side of the gray crypto in the center. Let's look at some more minimalist styles. This is our vertical card slot, Frank the Enforcer. And this one is kind of like our Frank and kind of like the vertical card slot pugs combo. We've got these two card slots on the front. There's a hidden card slot underneath those here. We have the Frank center section that will fit US dollars folded in half here. And then we also have a couple card slots on the back. So a bunch of card slots on this guy. And it's also hand stitched in a really beautiful piece of green shell cordovan. I'll do my best to show you the range of color in this because some angles the green shell is, is much greener and then other angles gets a little bit darker and more of like a forest green. Here's another Frank the Enforcer. This time it is our five slot Frank. So we've got two card slots on the front, one larger section in the middle and then two more on the back. And this one is made in the new brown cypress leather. We've got another green shell cordovan piece here. This is a Capone money clip in, I believe this is just called green shell cordovan. It might be dark green. But I'll do the same idea here and sort of spin it around so you can see the range of color 
And the uh, this must be dark green because it does read very dark, at least in my viewfinder here. Let's look at the inside. More dark green Chell Cordovan, and we have an antique brass spring bar money clip that matches very nicely with the green. Here's another Tony the Ant. Looks to be denim blue Chell Cordovan on this piece. I'll do my best to uh, demonstrate the color because this is a little bit more of an aqua blue shade, especially when compared to the intense blue. The intense blue is a little bit more of like a navy blue. Here's a look at the edges. We've got a hand stain matching edge, and then the inside, more denim blue shell cordovan with a great ink stamp. We've got another Johnny the Fox here, and I can't tell, this, this might be another one that's intense blue. Maybe we can compare these side by side. The intense blue on top of the denim blue underneath. You can see a little bit more vibrance in the denim blue. So let's take a better look at this intense blue shell cordovan, Johnny the Fox. Very nice blue color range here. And let's flip it to the inside. You can see more intense blue shell cordovan on the inside with a matching hand sand edge. Very beautiful piece here. It's very difficult for us to get the shell cordovan thin enough for the insides of the Giant of the Fox. So it's great to see this one here. Three more wallets to look at. We've got another green shell cordovan piece here. Spin this around so you can see the color kind of fixated on showing you the range here because sometimes it's tough to see it in person, but there's certainly a green cast to these green shells. Sometimes people perceive them as black when they first get them. Okay, this Bugs and Rand is for AM. You can see personalized with our laser engraving on the front. Here's a look at the inside, and I love this here. We've got a gold foil stamp to pair with that green shell cordovan. And there's something great about the green and gold together. And this is our vertical card slot Bugs Moran. Another Bugs Moran here. Let me demonstrate the difference between the vertical card slots and the traditional. So vertical on the top. I think the verticals are better if you're only using one or two cards in a slot. There's a reason we designed the Bugs Moran this way. I find it to be a little bit easier to use if you have more than two cards in each of these slots. So let's look at the Bugs Moran. We've got a quick access card slot on the back. This is a natural shell cordovan. Here's a natural waxed and burnished edge for this guy. And on the inside, we have reverse color HL Cordovan with some epic splatter. And the last one of the day, our most popular leather. This is that English Tan Dublin again with incredible natural grain character. English Tan Dublin is vegetable tan and then finished with that hard wax layer. So it ages very nicely. On the inside here, what's making this one custom is the baby Ashland stamp on the inside. I think that's the only difference from this and our normal stock for the Bugs Moran. And it's beautiful. I actually really like the baby Ashland stamp, especially on the more minimalist stuff. So you'll notice our minimalist styles tend to uh, have more of the baby Ashland stamp. So there's everything that we are preparing to ship out today or this week. Thank you everybody that has picked up a custom wallet. Hopefully you got to see it in the video here before you get it. If you're interested in picking up or specking out your own custom wallet, Send my brother Madden an email, the info at ashlandleather.com. Just let him know what your dream wallet is, and he'll give you a quote on how long it will take and how much it will cost. And by the way, the custom pricing, we take our base price for the wallet and we add 10% for the custom pricing. So something like this Bugs Moran, if it's normally $85, the custom fee is $8.50. So if you have any questions about custom orders, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Until next time, hope you have a good one and take care.